Hey everyone, welcome to episode 13 of my Don't Starve Let's Play. In the last episode, we uh, healed up with the fish sticks there, we built a pig village. Mr. P and Jeff, I believe, are the pigs' names. And I still want to continue in the uh, whole pig village, you know, creation. Also, we got attacked by the hounds again, and also one of them was a fire hound, which was, uh, yeah. Well, we lucked out that everything didn't just burn down. I also worked on creating a road here. I could do it many different ways. I'm trying to make it like so I can just walk straight up and down. So it's going to end up requiring more uh, more road in the long run. I should probably also make another log suit. Let me do that before we do anything here. Need some ropes, so we're fine. Need two of these, and we need some logs. I do want to continue the pig village. I also want to get ah uh, crap, uh, honey honey bandages. So honey pol polis P poultice, honey poultice is what it's called. It's a bandage that'll heal me 30 HP, and they never expire. So rather than relying on food for healing, I could rely on those, and that would probably be the better bet. Also, the pigs are probably gonna go kill that thing slash run away because it's dark. So they'll do that. <laughs> Um, I'm also, I'm aware that I can make a tent, and the tent has six uses, and it actually heals me when I sleep in it. It causes hunger loss because you sleep basically throughout the day, so obviously you're still getting hungry. But it will heal me and it will restore sanity. The problem I have with it is it's only six uses, so it might be a pain in the butt to keep making. It requires silk, twigs, and uh, something else. I can't quite remember. But it still might be worth making, I mean, if I need to heal up, like, you know, I'm at a, I'm at a pinch. So I'm probably going to end up making one of those. It also restores your body temperature, so like if you're really cold, you can go sleep in that and you know, you'll warm back up. So I'm probably going to make one of those here, sooner or later. Maybe not right now. Uh, I guess it'd be under survival. Maybe any, maybe even under structures considering it's a tent. I'm not sure. We'll find it later. Uh, I just want to go ahead and dig up these stumps. And it's going to be dark real soon here. So the pigs aren't here anymore, they're over in the house. I don't have a hat anymore, and that's concerning. I should probably get some flowers and get another garland. I say garland because sanity, restoration, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a bird in that trap. He's going pretty crazy. Uh, my axe did break. My shovel's about to break. Is there anything else I can pick up? Nah, of course not. Let's go ahead and make our log suit. Oh, hey, there's a pig over there. The, Mr. P, there, there's, fi there's fire over here. Light. I think he's trying to get over here, but... The walls kind of in the way. So, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, it's only got 8%. I don't feel like dealing with that. So what I'm actually going to do. It's probably something incredibly terrible. Well, if I could drop the dang thing. Okay. Probably a very bad idea. Can I burn it? I can't burn it! Damn. I was going to burn it to turn it into ashes. I don't feel like using it right now. It's It's got no use to me, really. It's very broken. Okay. I did say I figured out how to use the boomerang. You have to hold spacebar apparently on the return trip to not get whacked in the face by it. So I should probably do that. But right now I don't feel like messing around with it. Uh, hound's teeth. Was it in here? It was in there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. My fish sticks are getting getting pretty bad, which is not good. I should also be making gold tools here soon. Once I find the pig king, I can give him like trinkets and he'll give me gold. And the gold tools last longer, so I should do that. I'm waiting for it to become daytime here. Now, what do I want to do? I need reeds for the bandages. Is there any bigger swamps out there? That might be a bigger swamp. That might be a bigger swamp. And the reason I say swamp is reeds only grow in swamps. And I think reeds only grow every, like, three days. And there's only a very few in there. And it's, like, four reeds for one papyrus. And you need two papyrus for a band-aid. So, yeah. I need more of those. Let's see what happens with my, uh pigs over here if they follow me in the day. I'm actually going to cook up a few of these because we'll be eating a few of these throughout the next day here. Okay, so I follow, so obviously he's going to follow me. That's good. I love friend. Well, Mr. P's here. Where's Jeff? Jeff probably died. Jeff probably... Oh my god, look. He's got meat. Ow! I know he'd try and kill me. I think he killed Jeff. Jeff died. Well, I'm going to try something incredibly stupid. Obviously, be nice if I equip my tentacle spike. Kill it, kill it. Nice. Hey, look, we got a meat back, but apparently it's stale. Uh, okay, now we have another one of these fleshy bulbs. Is Mr. P okay? Mr. P, you okay, man? Uh, where'd, where'd Mr. P go? Well, that sucks. 
Let me cook this meat. No, no, no! <laughs> Why do I always do that? I ate it. I was actually gonna cook it and get another one and create a meat effigy, but that didn't work. I'm actually gonna hang it here if I can. Well, let me do that, even if it's stale. Cool. So I'll use that, you know, obviously to last longer if I make it into jerky. Let me put the fleshy ball away. I think I have another one. I don't know if they stack. I still want to get out of here and go for the dang, uh... Where did I put the fleshy bulb? Did I miss it in here? I did. They stack? They do. I still wanted to go up here and check the, uh... Right here. Swamps. <laughs> Got distracted by that thing. Killed Jeff. Uh, let's check the pig huts. Even if the pigs die, they will respawn after a few days. So that's always, you know, a thing. Don't have to worry about that. Oh man, look at these roads. I need roads. Tentacle spike's getting pretty used up. I'm really glad I have a tentacle spike. It's a little bit better than a spear, so it's like... Maybe like for a spider, it's like two or three hits, rather than an extra hit from the spear. So it does save you that extra, you know, just time. And I really do need to get around to killing these beefaloes. Terrible as that is. They're a great source of meat. I need their horns. I need their fur. Even though I can shave them when they sleep. I want their meat, one, because healing, two, hunger, Three meat effigy. I mean, there's there's multiple uses, obviously. Let me just eat that. Keep my hunger topped off. I'm gonna get this poop here because we're gonna need some for our improved farms. Improved farms will hopefully be a reliable source of food for us. I mean, I could kill them and kite them, but the problem is I have so many on screen right now. Usually people have like two or three. There's just so many of them. And we need to go down and over here to get to the swamp. So let's actually go down on the road. I'll follow the road because, of course, that's quicker. Hey, froggy. Yeah, you don't want to attack the frogs as far as I'm aware. Because if you do, they will start They will start raining from the sky. I'm serious. Like, you attack one and they just kind of start spawning on screen, like, falling off like from the ceiling. I can't explain it. I've seen it once before. And unless you're, like, really prepared to deal with that and you really have to kill the frogs for some reason, I think I should just leave them alone. I don't think it's worth killing them. I just keep checking my map to make sure we're going the right way. And my fish sticks are getting stale, so I should probably start eating them here. That sucks. They, they, they did their duty. They healed me. That was great, but... Okay, so this one's like right down here. Ooh, I gotta get these. Chester, what, how's your inventory looking there, buddy? I keep forgetting to, like, perform maintenance around my base. And by maintenance, I mean, like, check inventories and things. Let's put the poop in you. Chester likes poop. And the reason I was curious because I think I need to start gathering saplings and taking them home. Okay, here you go, Chester. Thank you, buddy. Get our tentacle spike out. I should probably get these flowers, even though, you know, we're supposed to be going to the swamp biome here. I do still want to get a garland because of my sanity meter. Okay, there's a bunch of flowers here. It's good. Always take another flint. Okay, those are evil flowers, which I can always turn into nightmare fuel. That's okay. It's good. And I am not wasting time when it comes to, like, gathering various resources. I am not having that problem again come this winter. Like, screw that. And yeah, my berries are going bad quick. This is why I need to stick to, like, really... Just, just food that lasts forever. Non-perishable goods. Whatever you want to call it. Berries go bad pretty quick. Okay, we should be getting close to this. I do want to kill that butterfly. As terrible as that makes me sound. You can eat the wings for health. Health? Eh, I'll let them live. Screw it. Okay, reeds. I want to avoid the tentacle spikes. I just want to gather the reeds here. Get an idea of how many might be here. Okay, yeah, you really have to watch out for the tentacles. They, uh, they hurt. Wait, like, like there, right there. Chester, run! <laughs> they're not, they're not fun to fight. Blue mushroom. You see them before they pop up out of the ground. Okay, right there. You see a little distortion in the ground. So there's reeds over there, there's reeds over there, it looks like. Not a lot of reeds here. That's very bad. Reeds are kind of rare. I could also start capturing spiders or killing spiders in, like, bulk. And the reason I say that is, you know, healing glands. Make a bunch of healing salves. Oh god, those are, like, the super evil mosquitoes. They'll dog me down. Oh, sweet. What's this? Chester, buddy, get out of there. Oh, oh god. Well, we know that's there, so we'll go to that whenever we're ready here. 
whenever it's not about to be nighttime. I'm gonna grab these reeds. Oh my god, my berry sp Oh, is that from being in the swamp? Oh my god, look at all my stuff! Well, I'm gonna eat this stuff before it goes bad. Spoiled berries. You know, I can turn that in a rot. God damn, that sucks. That turned all my food spoiled. I didn't know that. Wow. That's terrible because now we don't have food on us. That's, I mean, our jerky's gonna last a little bit, but our seeds are bad. I killed all of our seeds. Damn, man. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Now I know. Stay the hell away from the swamp. More, more reasons than one. Oh, looks like some fighting went on over here. There's dead spiders and reeds. I hear things being hit right now. The spiders do fight the tentacle spikes, and so do the mermen. It's actually really good. Don't attack Chester. Oh, sweet. There's probably going to be like tentacle spikes over here. Probably going to camp out like right around here. So let me go ahead and build a campfire here. I'm going to add a few logs to this. And through this night, I'm going to go ahead and chop some trees down. Oh my god, though, look at all my food, like the food in my inventory. My fish sticks, they're gone. My berries, a stack of 23 berries went bad. That sucks. I probably can't make the opulent thing here. Yeah, I need to do that at a science machine. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> my god, guys, I just lost so much food. <laughs> here I am worried about food for the winter, and I went into a swamp by it without knowing that. I wish I knew that fact. I can't eat these, it'll hurt me, I think. Lowers my sanity. Yeah, look, it was terrible. Better than nothing, I guess. Uh, well, that'll be that'll be fertilizer, so that's okay. I'm gonna kill this bird. Because, you know, you can only kill them during the night, unless, of course, you have a ranged weapon. Okay. I don't want to light that... I wonder if I light this tree on fire if it'll get the, uh... This is probably a very bad idea. That's a, that's a very bad idea. Look what I've done. What have I done? <laughs> I wanted it to burn down the spiders. But I'm going to collect the ashes and stuff. Okay, so Crimson Feather. Chester, what's your inventory looking like, bud? You're full. Okay. His inventory didn't go bad. Now I need to get the petals to make the garland so it's not a complete waste. That sucks. That sucks. Look at that fire. Look, what have I done? Oh well. Uh, now that I know all my food's bad, what I want to do is find some petals to make a garland here before they go bad. I need four more. I'm gonna let the berries turn into rot. The seeds, I would like to plant them, but uh, they're not like that important of a resource. I still have to go to that chest. That's pretty important. This is a sinkhole. If I mine that, basically unlocks the cave. Don't think I'm quite ready for those yet. Uh, let's get a garland before we go into the swamp, because I don't want to just kill the petals off. These are going to turn into rot here. I'm just going to leave them over here. Uh, that's probably rotten. There's a fish. There's frog legs. Th those mermen thing you saw, they dropped this stuff. Oh god, I'm moving. I wonder if I can break that house if I'll still get the pigskin. Okay, um... I don't have a lot of logs. Oh, I do have a lot of logs. What am I smoking? Uh, this needs to just go bad. I'm just going to drop this. I'm going to take the fish. At least I can do something with the fish. Make something out of it. So that chest. What's that do? Hunger lowers my sanity. I still need to get the petals. Stay away from the evil flowers. They actually will lower your sanity. I just want to get some petals before I go get that chest so my sanity starts going up. I don't want to start having sanity problems. Of course, I'm not finding any flowers here. And we're just coming across more swamp. Alright, well, we're going north. Going north, getting a garland, then we're going back for that chest. That's my plan. That is my plan. Oh man, my food situation now. I gotta worry about this. <laughs> oh, this is why I want an ice box. I want to have some, like, renewable resources and just all that jazz. Let's just cook that fish. Please, stay alive, fire. Okay, cook fish. Save that. Seeds. I think the durability of the seeds, like the, uh, the, I guess I call it durability, will go up if I keep finding good ones. Like the overall durability will go up. It's kind of weird how I think that works. Like if you do notice, the bar goes up a little bit every time I pick up a fresh one. So, that's, that's something to know. And I'm only going to find flowers over here to the left. I think this is like a forest. 
kind of like a dry forest, and these are like more lush. I'm more likely to find flowers and things over here. Still kind of figuring out all the biomes. I don't know everything quite yet. I don't know if I ever will. And as long as the jerky is okay, I still have some food. And go ahead and get some flowers. There's some up there. See, my sanity's 141, and the icon has actually changed because it's actually going down. Like, I'll start seeing things. Like, I'll ha I basically have to combat extra monsters at night because they'll be like hands that try and put out my fire. It's uh, it's no fun having to worry about your sanity. If you can keep your sanity up high, you should probably keep your sanity up. <laughs> I only need two more here. Yoink. Okay, and then I should be able to make my garland. And that'll just be a constant source of sanity boost. Sanity boostage. Okay. So now let's go back. Knowing my food's going bad, what am I doing here? Can I give Chester? Because it doesn't seem like his food rots. So you can hold on to that. Actually, hold on to the jerky. We're going to eat this. Okay. Actually, and hold on to the seeds, because I have a lot of these. I don't think honeycombs can go bad. And there's seeds here. I shouldn't really be worrying about seeds, they're not really. You know, if I can trap you, I would totally kill you. Uh, yes! No, we lost one! <laughs> Damn, still got one of the drumsticks, that's good. Okay, I don't, I don't imagine dentures, secondhand dentures, maybe they could go bad, I don't know. But I don't think they'll rot just because we're going into the uh, swamp here. Maybe this stuff will finally turn into rot and that'll free up an inventory space. I never knew that the swamp did that to your stuff. Like, just because it was in your inventory? That sucks. Like, that's really bad. <laughs> and the swamp... Or, yeah, let's go down here and spend as little time inside the swamp as we can. I still need to get some reeds. Basically, I want to have a crap ton of reeds just on stock. So if, I ha if, I, if I'm hurting, I don't have to worry about, you know, let's go spend three days cooking food. No, let's just slap down some bandages and call it, you know... Call it good. And it's right over here. So it's a bunch of these, these like uh, blueprints. So it's just right click to learn. So, life giving amulet, shovel blueprint. I don't need that one. The life giving amulet one's good. Opulent pickaxe, that's nice. It just means I have to be near my science machine, basically. Let's go ahead and. I should get some boards for this, shouldn't I? Yeah. Cool. Cool, some pig skin, could always use more of that. I can give myself that rot. Of course, basically everything just turned. We still need reeds, so there's some over here. Kind of playing dangerous here, I don't really have food. I mean, he has food on him, but yeah. I should probably head home, to be honest with you. I want to get a few more reeds, I think. Where's my torch? Let's leave my torch where it always is, just so I know. Let's get away from that. Let's take that spider gland. That'll heal us. Get the hell away from that. <laughs> it's gonna keep dogging us down. And on the map is kind of a good way to look for reeds. And I, I'm curious, you know, they were fighting over here. If there's a tentacle spike on the ground, I want to check. Because if I can get a free tentacle spike, I'm going to. It's a fish and some frog legs. Uh, there's also a tentacle spike. Or a tentacle. I should eat the frog legs. Where's my sanity a bit, but it does fill me up. It's because it's not cooked. Where's the hammer at? Rundown house. I wonder if we'll get the same stuff out of this. A fish. Not that I need that. No, I don't want the fish in my inventory. I want the reeds. And let's go ahead and put these in Chester. And then whenever it becomes land, I'm going to cook both these fish and eat them. Get out of the swamp as fast as I can. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? I still need reeds. How many do I have? Seven in my inventory. That's really not a lot. Oh, there's a bunch of evil flowers. Let's stay away from those. Those lower my sanity. There's more swamp. There's a bunch of... This, this is very... There's a lot of swamp here. <laughs> I don't think I want to mess around with it too much. I just want to get a few bandages just, just for like an oh shit moment kind of thing. Uh, my fish are still okay. Do I have the, uh... Yeah, I can just make this right now. They'll save up some inventory spots, probably. Let's make the regular campfire. 
It's gonna spend the night here, obviously. And we're gonna cook up these fish. I'm probably gonna head home here shortly. So let's, uh... Chester, what do you got on you? You're full. So yeah, we, we need to get home. Let me cook the, the drumstick, though. Actually, I'm just gonna eat that. Mmm. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think we should go home here. Let's go ahead and put that in Chester. How are our seeds doing in him? They're still pretty stale. Should probably like just roast up a bunch of them. I don't care if I drop them, I'll pick them all up here in a second. <laughs> I like the various trumpet sounds he's making. Oh god, no! My seeds! <laughs> no! Why did they catch on fire? Well that sucks. I only lost a few. Whatever, it's okay. Ashes are something we still need. Things are just not going so hot, guys. Just not going so hot. Not at all. I think I might have enough pigskin at home to make another house, though. If I combine it with this. Ugh! I think what I'm gonna do is maybe stop worrying about exploring so many things so much as I want to just get renewable food sources going. So that way, during the winter, I can still make runs out and just not have to worry about food. Like, knowing I can come home and there's going to be something there. Like, I'm not gonna die. So, yeah. <laughs> I wanna make that my focus. So let's get back home. Oh, man. I mean, I got I got a few of these reeds, but I lost all of my food coming here. That was not something I was expecting or prepared for. <laughs> that sucks. Three fish sticks, I think. Uh, I lost one or two jerkies. I lost, oh my god, I lost like 20 berries. The more I think about it, the more I think about it. That sucks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and eat these, whatever. Cause I want these berries. I'm not gonna worry about that guy, I'm never gonna catch him. Oh, damn. Okay. Get the grass, of course. I just wanna get home. Probably should be getting the flowers, mostly. Rather than the berries. The reason I say that, you know, another garland, of course. And are we going the right way? We are not. What's down there? I haven't been there. There's so much I haven't explored. I'm just going to eat these berries. There's no point leaving them on the plant, really. It just wastes. It just kind of goes to waste. Like, I mean... Basically, every time I pass one of these bushes and I don't harvest them, you know, it's kind of a waste, if you think about it. It's not a waste of time, but it's a waste of that resource, because it doesn't do anything while it's just sitting there. I don't know, man. There's so much, like... There's, there's so much to do in so little time. Cooked fish is still okay for us. Uh, those are always hostile, I think, the red ones. Let's just avoid those. These guys are typically pretty friendly. I need to start capturing more bees, because honey seems to be really good. Uh, it, it, I have honey at home in that chest. That's not even in an ice cooler. It's just there. It's still good. It lasts so long. And then plus it's used for my bandages. So, I mean, there's just a lot of uses. Uses. Yeah, I really should probably start planting some of these pine cones. We shall plant pine cones on our way home. <laughs> we just need more trees. Not really, but I just need to get these pine cones out of my frickin' inventory. I think... I think I may have been slightly misinformed about the trees. I think when they get big, they die like this, and then they do respawn as baby trees. So they kind of go through a cycle. But when they're burnt, they're screwed. So... Maybe that's how it is. I'm not 100%. Okay, got some berries there. I actually am pretty low on grass. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this. I'm gonna eat this fish here going to check, just do some maintenance today. I need to check my base, like, I need to, yeah, I got some stuff to do. <laughs> and I got a lot of rot. I want to get some proof farms going. I want to work on my walls. Yeah, I should probably never place those hay walls. I kind of want to break them down. I'm just harvesting grass and harvesting twigs so that during the winter, when this stuff stops growing, I've got a stock of it. I wish I could burn that log suit. <laughs> it's buggy me that it's there. I cannot carry any more stuff. Chester can. And this is why Chester is amazing. Here you go, Chester. Let's see if we can get rid of this. I'm pretty sure I can. 
I don't know how well a hammer on a hay wall would work, let's be honest. Should probably use like a machete. It's okay. Okay, and yeah, I really need to harvest that. That that's all ready to be harvested. So our, our food at home is good. Just, you know. <laughs> oh, the food in our inventory is just gone. I really need to Oh my god, I got so much I need to do. Look up so look at that honey, that's still good. And I need to refine this into some papyrus. Papyrus. Uh it's in this chest, yeah. What can I actually do? So let me show you, I believe. Honeycombs won't go bad, let me put them in there. Let me pull these out because we'll use those papyrus in there. I really need to get some semblance of organization going on. I've said that many times before. Okay. Grass. And Chester has my extra grass. Let's get it out of Chester. Getting late. Yep, we know. Where's my poop at? Out there. I have a stack of poop somewhere. There we go. Stack of poop. Uh, papyrus and my honey was in here. So science machine. I believe survival. Healing salve. Honey poultice. Uh, what? Okay. Apparently, I wasn't close enough. There we go. Now this won't expire or anything. So that can just forever be a thing I have. That if I need. I'm good. So let me actually get two more honey. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Let's just harvest some honey and run away from some bees. Ah! There's so many bees in that thing now. <laughs> it's okay. It's worth it. I still need more reeds. Knowing I have three of the... I think that's 30 HP each. So knowing I have three of these things is just... That's awesome. I need more bee boxes. I need more everything. Okay, so I should be able to make a pig hut. I might need some rocks in my inventory. So cut stone and a board. Cut stone. How many cut stone was it? Three? Right there. <laughs> and one board. Let's just make one. Refine, board. Okay. And let's go ahead and slap down another pig house. And this will give us yet another pig. And we could totally feed him some monster meat and make him a bro. But it's also night, so it probably won't even come out of his house. And just plunk it down right there. If he does, I kind of want to kill him. Just to be honest. <laughs> more pig skin. More, get more houses going. That way we just have more pigs. So, I mean, you know, if we ever need to run there and have them defend us, they'll do it. Okay. What am I doing here? Let's keep the bandages on me. Those are like emergency oh shit kind of things. Let's eat that. The rot doesn't have to be with me. The rot should probably be near the manure considering they're kind of, you know, similar in effect. I want to focus on some improved farms. There's six poop, some rocks, and a bunch of grass. Of course, let's go ahead and harvest some berries because we really don't have any other food right now on us. I mean, of course I have my dry racks and other food, but nothing on me. Let's go ahead and just cook these up. Cooking up some berries. Not sure why adding heat to berries makes them fill you more. <laughs> Apparently it does. I still need to work on my walls, to be honest. I mean, like, the fact that and this is all open. Like, literally, I just have walls blocking things from over here. Which is kind of there. Should probably work on that. Uh, ashes. Did I not store them? Now I did. So, for the farm, I need some rocks. Some poop. And what else? Some grass. Okay, I know I have a bunch of grass. So I'm probably just going to actually dip into this supply here. Even though that's probably not the most intelligent decision. And actually... Uh, let's go ahead and put this bird in here. Split the stack of twigs. Split the stack again. So we have to harvest all these twigs over here. And actually, again, split the stack. Make the improved farm. I did click improved farm, right? Yeah, because I prototyped it. I should probably get these kind of away from it. I need to, like, push 
some stuff outside of my walls here. I'm gonna like wall off this area. I should probably move the bee box. Uh, should probably get some things moved around. Like let's put our improved farms out here. Sweet. So Chester, you have the seeds, correct? Can I still plant these? I can. Okay. I should probably use one rot. I could use a manure, but let's use rot because I think only manure can. I, th I don't think you can use rot for a farm. Like manu it can't be a substitute for manure. My beard is like scraggly. I need to shave that. So let's just fertilize that. Cool. Chester, you can hold on to the rot. There's like no point in not doing that. I'm gonna eat the stale jerky. Put the gold away. Okay, I'm gonna do some maintenance here basically before I wrap this one up. Let's uh start cleaning up our inventories. Chester's inventory too. Okay, so I keep the pine coats. I always keep the flint for extra tools. Berries, obviously, yes. Right now I'm making farms, so can I make another one? Probably can, yeah. Let's go and make another one. Nope, can I not put it like right there? Why not? Because it can't be too close. Okay, hey, look, a seed. <laughs> Just use this. Uh, Chester, I think I put the rod in you. I believe I did. There we are. Get that going. And that's actually growing pretty quick. And then let's also get these out. I think all these are ready to be harvested. Can I squeeze a plant in there? Looks like I can. Ooh. I can. There we go. So let's harvest these. Do some maintenance here before we wrap this one up. Gotta prepare for the winter. <laughs> Gotta prepare. <laughs> there's so much stuff to do that, like, there's so much, like, more content, but it's, I'm struggling to get there because I have to, you know, do the maintenance, keep alive, work on my base, prepare for a winter. <laughs> That's awesome. I say that all the time, I know. Should probably get some more grass down here and just... Ugh. So much to do. Look at all these twigs. These actually seem to take quite a while to kind of come back. Get out of here, bird. I still need to make the bird cage. I think I need papyrus for it. I probably should have saved my papyrus, but uh, I uh, used it all there. My band-aids. Go ahead and get this grass. Since we kind of just used all all of it. That bird just like flew straight up and he was huge. The camera angle was perfect for that. I don't know if you saw that. I'm making a lot of digging noises over here because we're unlocking a lot of recipes as we add grass to our inventory. There's some berries there. Go ahead and eat a few of these. I'm not gonna harvest them all, I don't think. Because they'll just go bad. Okay. Actually, can I make another one? What do I need? I need more poopy. Do I have any more in my chest? Probably not. Rocks. Uh, I should start like organizing like wood, like wood chests, wood related, like stone chests, stone related, monster drops kind of thing. You know? Is it flint? Let's go use these walls. Let's build these up. Should I repair this one? Okay. Build those. Build those. Okay, now that's an extra... Wow, look, they're almost done. This is why I wanted the improved farms. Um, stone chest here. So, rocks. Gold contain here, obviously. This is like monster drops, so we'll kind of find a chest for this here shortly. So wood. I actually need to, I need to get some more tools. Uh, I don't need this in my inventory right now. So wood. Uh, this is not a monster drop. It's probably going to go in a different chest for now. Let that beard here go. Maybe I'll just put it in here. Let me just shave. Oh my goodness, Wilson. Oh my goodness, Wilson. That beard. That beard. Okay. So stone. I feel like I should have more stone. Does that mean spring is coming? What? What's that mean? Oh god. What's that mean? What's that mean? I don't even know. Well, we'll find out in the next episode, guys. This is episode 13 of my Delta Star Let's Play. Thanks for watching. 
All of our food got spoiled because we went over into the swamp. That's okay. We're going to make up for it. I'm working on renewable resources just over the time. Ooh, an eggplant. Eggplants are good. It's like that. I mean, these, these are growing pretty damn quick, so that's good. They won't work in the winter, though, but they'll work during the summer. This, of course, the drying rock will probably be our saving grace. I still need to tend to our bunny farm. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.